Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. So last year, I set a goal to read 50 books last year and I did not make it. I only read 45, but I'm still excited because that's like a personal best for me, which is pretty good, <laughs> which is pretty good. But this year, I set a goal to read 52 books this year, which is one book a week. And so far, I'm on my second book, so I'm keeping up, I'm keeping up. But before I fully dive into this year of books, I want to reminisce and think about the books that I read last year. So here are the books that I read in 2021. So because there's quite a few books on this list, the way I'll do this is I'll tell you the book that I read and then I will tell you what I rated it. And the books that I rated a little bit higher and lower, I'll, you know, tell you a little bit more about them just to kind of, you know, give you the tea. But I'll put all the Goodreads links to all of these books down in the description below. Let's just jump right into this video. Okay, so first up on the list was Damsel and I gave it two stars. Honestly, the twist was simultaneously predictable, but also kind of creepy and weird and disturbing. Take that how you want. <laughs> Next, The Worst Best Man, three stars. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, four stars. Honestly, this one I just found out was a trilogy and I'm putting the other two books on my list to read for this year. If you are familiar with or interested in the podcast serial, specifically the first season, this is kind of like serial-esque. So, and I think in the second book, she also starts a podcast. Anyway, this one was pretty good. I like this one. I think that you should probably add it to your list if you're into books like that. Amala Unbound, three stars. The Switch, four stars. Beach Read, four stars. And I also read the other book by Emily Henry, People You Meet on Vacation. I only gave this one three stars. And I think this one actually won uh, Goodreads Best Choice Awards for Best Romance, honestly. This is even more like a two and a half, three-ish stars. I definitely liked Beach Read a lot better. Beach Read is an enemies to lovers trope and people we, people you meet on vacation is a friends to lovers trope. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, four stars. American Royals, four stars. And Majesty, four stars. Well, like more like three and a half stars. This is the first book in the trilogy and this is the second book in the trilogy. I think the, the third one comes out this year. So that one is on my list to read this year. This book is essentially about um, if America won its freedom from Great Britain and the Revolutionary War, but instead of setting up a democracy, George Washington set up a monarchy. So it's set in present day time, but it's as if the Washingtons have been ruling for decades. And so we're about to get our first Queen of America and it kind of just follows her story and her sibling stories and it, it's it's a pretty cute book. Accidentally Engaged, three stars. Seven Days in June, four stars. Anxious People, four stars. This one was like a three and a half star or like a three star until the end and then I gave it another star. <laughs> Local Woman Missing, three stars. Spin the Dawn, four stars, and Unravel the Dusk, three stars. I think this is just a two book series, but essentially just imagine like Mulan meets Aladdin meets Project Runway. These are those books. The first one I thought was a lot better than the second one, but yeah, these were pretty cute. And I thought they were a quick and easy read because it just kind of kept me like wanting to read the story. So I recommend these ones. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill, three stars. Heartless, five stars, but honestly a billion stars. This is one of my favorite books of all time. This is basically the telling of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland before she became the Queen of Hearts and how she became mean and why she is the way that she is. It's just such a good story. And if you really are interested in reading this book, do not read the book first. Listen to the audiobook first. There are like a ton of characters in Alice in Wonderland and the voice actress for this book is amazing. She does little voices for each character. It's it's so good. Listen to the book and then read the book and then listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, read it, read it, read it. Anyway, it's a good book. Just read this one. Put this one on your list. All the Stars and Teeth, three stars. Spell Slinger, three stars. I was very disappointed by this book because I think there's like six books in this series and I really, 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 really wanted to start this series, but I did not like it. It wasn't that great. It just, I don't know. I might try the second book just to see if it gets better. I don't know, but this one wasn't for me. One last stop, three stars. The Bromance Book Club, Undercover Bromance, and Crazy Stupid Bromance, 
I gave these all three stars. They're like a little series. I think there might be five or six books in the series. If I'm being honest, like these are not books that I really wanted to read. I have a list of books to read while the books that I actually want to read are on hold or I'm waiting for them from the library. Um, and so I ended up reading quite a few of these books. They're all right. I gave them three stars. I think I'm just gonna finish this series because at this point I'm three books in. I might as well check that check out the description if you want to know what these books are about i won't go too much more into them the perfect marriage two stars the midnight library four stars more like four and a half four this one was really really good it's basically like uh, a book about like infinite realities essentially but basically it's about this woman who um shows up this at this midnight library and she basically has the opportunity to see how her life turned out if she would have made different decisions and it's kind of like a gra the grass is not always greener on the other side kind of thing so yeah i thought this one was interesting it was definitely interesting to read breakfast with buddha four stars crosstalk two stars way way too long and i get i get what they were trying to do here and i felt like this could have been a really really good book about how connected how too connected we are to uh, other people and the technology we use and things like that but it missed this mark for me it was just so long and drawn out a fall love story two stars it just wasn't for me get a life chloe brown take a hint danny brown and actor age eve brown and these books are just really really good i love the diversity i love um how they talk about disability i like how they talk about mental health all of these books are just really cute they're kind of funny they're really sweet i would recommend these books over and over and over again <laughs> the wife upstairs four stars the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle four stars kind of like a four and a half star this one was really good. I did listen to the audiobook of this one, so I feel like I probably would have given it a five star if I actually read the book because there are a lot of characters to keep up with and a lot of different things that you kind of have to like make sure you pay attention to and remember. Um, but I don't want to spoil it. I thought it was pretty good. I'll just leave it at that. It's kind of like a murder mystery whodunit with twists. Okay, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> The Swap, three stars. Pride, three stars. This is essentially just a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, but if it took place in modern day Brooklyn. Downstairs Neighbor, four stars. So the next two books on the list are actually children's books. Our wedding was Alice in Wonderland theme. And so like my parents, they gifted us this little Alice in Wonderland picture book. <laughs> which I thought was so cute. And yes, I did put it on my list. And that's because I literally read Alice in Wonderland like to prep for the wedding and stuff like that. And um, I didn't really put it on my list because I was mostly like reading it for research, I guess. So I put this one on my list and it was just a really cute book. Obviously I gave it a five out of five because I love everything Alice in Wonderland, but look at little Alice. She's so cute with her little overalls and her little Converse. She's so cute. <laughs> I love this. Anyway, I love this book and I gave it five stars. Then the next book I read was The Little Prince and I have never really read this one. Um, I know a lot of people read it when they were a, a kid and it was okay. I think I gave it like three stars, maybe two stars. And maybe it's just the nostalgia of like, you know, the memories behind reading these books when you're kids. I don't really know, but I didn't think it was that good. I don't know, sorry. I know this one's like pretty popular. <laughs> Skipping Christmas, I gave this one two stars. It wasn't good. <laughs> Spending Silver, four stars. One by one, three stars. And lastly, Wrapped Up In You, three stars. That was my year in books, you guys, for 2021. I know I'm kind of late doing this, but <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about some of the books that I read last year and some of the ones that are gonna be on my list this year, like Heartless, again, is going to be on my list for this year. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna know what is on your reading list for 2022. I'm always looking to add some books to my list, although I need to stop doing that. I feel like collecting books on your to be read list and actually reading books are two different hobbies. So yeah, 
I need to get to the books that I have already on my list, but I'm always looking to add some more. So send your book suggestions my way and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.